Hello, I'm Deborah Wright of Ascribe Consulting, and today's video is about documenting your organization's history in a grant proposal. This is an important part to a funder because it gives them a snapshot of what who your agency serves, what your agency's mission, what your agency is about. So I'm going to just go over uh, some of the parts of a proposal um, that you may work on or improve as you write your next proposal. So usually the organization's history section lasts about one page. So it's a brief document, but it has a lot of information in it. So some of that information can start with your history. Why is your organization in existence? What happened? So you look at it this way. It could be your origin story or why did your organization come into existence? Was it something that happened to you, your family, something in the community? Could be nationwide. It could be something you believe in, someone else you care for. It could be a whole lot of reasons, but document that. What is the story that created your agency? Next, mission statement. Uh, you have to clearly state your mission statement. My suggestion is make it several sentences long, it's about all, because it has to be short and succinct and not take up a lot of room in your organization's history because there's other areas that the funder is looking for. Next is your operations and your expertise. Briefly explain your organization's other programs and the expertise that your, those programs um, provide to the community. You may have two, three, you may have just one. But whatever your organ whatever your programs are, describe them and what their actually impact is in the community. Next is your staff. Mm, you would need I suggest that you have a resume, a current resume for all of your staff members. Some grant makers do ask for it. So you have the resumes of your paid staff and also resumes of your volunteers. But don't discount the volunteers' resumes because volunteers bring a wealth of information, a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of experience to an organization that um, can really, really impact the services your organization provides. Next is your board. The same with staff is with the board. But with the board, the information can be given is there's the size of the board, the number, you have your resume, you have the bio, and any information that the funder asks. So in all this information I'm mentioning, it's best to have it before you even write, start writing the proposal because this will save you time, as I had mentioned before in a previous video. Have your documents ready, current uh, resumes, current board information so that when you grant is in front of you, you're not spending a whole lot of time with background information. And this is background information. The last part I'll go over briefly is audience. Who are you serving? We haven't talked about that yet. Who are the individuals or the people or who are you serving? How many and especially why are they relying on you? Why are your people that you serve rely on you to provide these services. Do you also have testimonies uh, from these individuals to say we need this agency because it does this for us or does this for us in the community? So those are some of the areas that you will cover in your organization's history. Also, there may be other additional information you can supply, but you can find out if you're not certain what other additional information you can always call the funder unless they state otherwise not to call them but you can contact the funder how the funder chooses to receive their contact so this is just a little bit about the organization's history in a grant proposal I just wanted to let you know what what my thoughts are you may have other thoughts but consider the areas that I mentioned in this video my name is Deborah Wright I work in and own Ascribe Consulting Agency. Thank you.